generation of doctors is learning how to spot the contagious virus measles. Some physicians undergoing training to make a quick diagnosis. Kristen Allen in for Aisha today to tell us about it. Yeah, this is pretty interesting. You don't hear about measles much, but it does still happen. And some newer doctors have never seen it in person before. So they're getting some training to learn how to rapidly detect and diagnose it. Many of them have only just learned about it in school. So we're going to head over to the first alert safety desk to talk about this this morning. Many hospitals are making a response plan and a paper was recently published in the Journal of the American College of Emergency Physicians reminding doctors what measles can look like. Measles was declared eliminated in the U.S. back in 2000 because most Americans are vaccinated. Some doctors say they may not even consider the virus as a possible diagnosis if a child comes in with a rash and a fever. But over the last several years, there have been isolated measles outbreaks. That includes one last year in Wisconsin, with several cases reported in Milwaukee. Measles is very contagious. According to the Centers for Disease Control, an infected person can spread the virus to up to 10 close contacts. And the first signs typically include a high fever, cough, and pink eye, followed by a rash that lasts five to six days. That starts at the hairline and goes down to the hands and feet. Measles can also cause some serious health complications in children younger than five years old, which is why it is critical for these doctors to be able to diagnose it quickly. And coming up at our next half hour, an important recall to tell you about involving Frigidaire stoves. Steve? 